year old boy who reported to emergency services with pain in uh, upper abdomen this time upper central abdomen and uh, which is radiating to back it has happened for one day associated with 3 to 4 times vomiting uh, and during the episodes the child holds the abdomen and toes tosses in bed the of uh, uh, vomiting as i said it is non bilious there is no fever and in on detailed history the child has uh, recurrent episodes of such abdominal pain and every time there is uh, persistent vomiting so now my first question is that is it organic or functional abdominal pain let's let's hear from the students uh pancreatitis organic renal colic organic 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 so students are very clear that this is organic uh, pain in nature excellent everybody say organic pain and some have even given the cause as pancreatitis also so this is uh, good to uh, because there are red flag signs here the pain is localized it is radiating and it is associated vomiting every time so there are red flag signs suggestive of organic etiology but i would say that don't jump to the uh, cause without a detailed evaluation so it may, may not necessarily be pancreatitis it could be something else so uh, definitely the clues suggest organic but uh, i will still ask could it still be red flag signs presence of red flag signs does not mean that it always turn out to be organic so it may still turn out to be a functional abdominal pain it just uh, uh, warrants detailed evaluation including investigation so could it still be functional abdominal pain and if it could be functional abdominal pain what type of functional abdominal pain it could be yeah dr dheeraj you can go ahead with the answer okay. what kind of abdominal so, pain you are okay. referring so to so i would say that yes uh, detailed evaluation is required but if you don't find anything it could still be functional abdominal pain because uh, abdominal migraine abdominal migraine is the type of functional abdominal pain which presents with severe acute abdominal pain child often presents to emergency the pain appears to be very severe and vomiting is actually uh, uh, one of the diagnostic criteria if there is presence of photophobia nausea vomiting or pallor along with the episode of uh, acute abdominal pain and that abdominal pain occurs for more than once a month for about 6 months then it is classified as abdominal migraine but it is a diagnosis which is rare it has to be made only after the organic abdominal pain causes are okay so i think you should consider uh, more common things here first rather than going to abdominal migraine and you are absolutely right that this appears to be an organic pain you have taken um, what other history you will like to assess the cause of pain uh, what other history in this child additional history uh can we, yeah waiting for your answers additional history you would like to know to find out what is the cause of this pain family history or of gastric diseases again the blood loss yes gi bleeding is important because you can rule out malrotation or valvulus history of jaundice yes fever diet uh, how would diet help i am not sure fever is important yes sensorium urinary complaint um any other history related to hepatobiliary system gastric upset okay so these are the various answers aggravating relieving factors fine i think you have covered almost um, everything other than you should also look for or ask for um, any bilious vomiting also look for growth failure these are the important uh, additional points to be asked in the history over to dr dheeraj Yeah, definitely. Uh, all these points are well covered. You need to take. Uh, I think somebody said diet. So relationship to meals is important because this is upper abdominal pain, central in location. So it could be peptic ulcer disease. Uh, so which gets uh, either aggravated or uh, relieved by uh, food, depending on the location of the ulcer. And then uh, yes, there is a history of jaundice. History of fever is important to exclude cholangitis, cholecystitis. and uh, whether the uh, vomitus is uh, bilious uh, if the bilious vomiting or gi loss uh, blood loss is there it could be malrotation valvulus as dr pu said along with growth failures is again important to find out because most of the uh, causes like uh, malrotation valvulus will lead to growth failure so uh, 
what could be differential diagnosis i think i have already uh, while uh, dr dheeraj you have already but i like now students to just list them repeat it because yeah you have already told uh, them to the students so let them write down the differential diagnosis what all you have considered peptic ulcer disease abdominal migraine i think abdominal migraine we kept lead later firstly let's uh, uh, enumerate the organic causes only so it was peptic ulcer uh, pud pancreatitis okay pancreatitis is it could be yes it could be chronic or recurrent pancreatitis again and again volvulus yes dr dheeraj said volvulus we also talked about mal rotation what about any gall bladder uh, disease could it be a possibility uh, we haven't had any answers on that so uh, cholecystitis yes so it could be cholecystitis or cholangitis and uh, okay uh, so that's uh, that's it colitis okay thank you uh, dr dheeraj usually uh, such a case when it comes to uh, the uh, emergency i have seen the first drug that is given by the residents is buscopan injection so would you think that is a right approach uh, to give a buscopan injection in such a case presenting with acute abdomen yeah i, I would not say uh, that uh, there is uh, something very wrong in this but if we just see the causes the causes are pancreatitis cholecystitis peptic ulcer disease uh, and uh, even in functional abdominal pain like abdominal migraine there is hardly any role of uh, anti spasmodic because the pain is not due to spasm even in the uh, so called colicky pains like renal colic and uh, uh, gall bladder stones the pain is more often due to inflammation of the mucosa rather than uh, spasm so uh, i think only in the intestinal pain uh, intestinal origin pain the antispasmodic work so i would say that the first line of management should be comforting the child comforting the family and giving analgesics so you need to prescribe because just prescribing an antispasmodic agent will not cause relief of pain in much majority of the causes you need to prescribe analgesic and the safest of the analgesic is paracetamol it is available in the oral preparation as well as it is available in the parenteral preparation so most of these children would be sick so they would require uh, administration of parenteral paracetamol to relieve their pain if there is an element of spasm if there is intestinal origin if there is like uh, would you feel that uh, there is some problem with the intestine in form of diarrhea then only you uh, may prescribe an uh, uh, antispasmodic like dicyclomin or hyoscin or even rotavirin so uh, in uh, functional abdominal pain again uh, the role of analgesic as well as antispasmodic is a bit controversial usually they do not respond to either of them if re- they respond to any of them it is actually a placebo effect rather than uh, a true medication effect okay thank you thank you dr dheeraj i think i have a supplementary question wo oh, like in lok sabha you have main question and then you have supplementary questions so i am asking this supplementary question you have given the differential diagnosis now give me the list of investigation you will like to perform from the students yes requesting type in the chat box investigation that you will like to do ultrasonogram very good the first obviously the first you have to start with the basic radiological usg lft okay lft is be specific what would you like to have bilirubin here colonoscopy ah colonoscopy dr dheeraj okay x ray abdomen serum amylase lipase stool for occult blood excellent so you are through to pancreatitis you are through for any uh, bleeding upper gi endoscopy and uh, cbc is a uh, will be the last probably hardly going to help here dr dheeraj your comment on what all students have written in the investigation yeah yes uh, definitely the evaluation will include the biochemical evaluation in form of bilirubin or uh, alkaline phosphatase bilirubin and alkaline phosphatase because here the cholangitis and cholecystitis are uh, the differential diagnosis if there is presence of fever definitely the complete blood count and cultures will also help but here there is no fever Uh, pancreatitis is a uh, important differential diagnosis so serum amylase serum lipase uh, along with the cause you need to also check the electrolytes of this child because this child is recurrently vomiting so may have electrolyte imbalance so for management the serum electrolytes is also important uh, for radiology i think again ultras because of the differential diagnosis the ultrasonography of the abdomen would be the most important investigation here that can 
depending on the operator uh, it will be possible to distinguish between all the causes whether it's pancreatitis whether it is cholecystitis cholangitis or the only thing which would not be diagnosed on ultrasonography would be a peptic ulcer disease here uh, if you are suspecting malrotation and valvulus again ultrasonography should be able to uh, diagnose but if there are any signs suggestive of intestinal obstruction then a straight uh, x ray of the abdomen should also be done yeah we have a question khushi somebody has asked khushi has asked uh, sir when should we give them electrolyte supplementation i don't quite understand that uh, that means the child is having acute pain obviously you will be putting the child on iv fluids and all and then depending on if the child has any you start the child on normal maintenance uh, provided the child is not in shock or nothing uh, fluid deficit is there and then depending on whatever electrolyte imbalance is there uh, that has to be supplemented i think that is the uh, simple answer what do you do for pain i think dr dheeraj has already specified analgesics are uh, the first choice until unless you are suspecting that it is only intestinal then antispasmodic may work so um, thank you very much